watching this. And excuse my language to all the ladies that's going to be watching this. The ladies of America. This is the one thing we did not think about. You remember I've been saying, oh, they have been crossing over here illegally, right? The, the immigrants and shit that's been crossing over here, right? Here's the fucked up part, though. A lot of those motherfuckers that's crossing over into this motherfucker are military-aged men. talking about here remind you they came over here no wife right so here's my question because they lack no women whatsoever crossing into here knowing good and goddamn well they plan to be here long term what does that mean for American ladies that refuse a lot of these men? Because God forbid, we say no to an American man, oh, they'll nut the fuck up. I can just imagine what the fuck they gonna do to us. This is the most popular migrant shelter where all of these men come once they come into New York City. There are hundreds upon thousands of men. We have met men that have wristbands and their number is in the 19,000 before they can go in and sleep in that shelter. Mayor Adams put out a paper and he put out an announcement saying that after these men have been in the shelter, 30 days is their limit. After 30 days, they will no longer be able to be housed. They will be put out on the streets, homeless. What we learned today by reading, we physically held the paper that says what is going to be happening to these migrant men. On that paper, it said that migrant families will not be treated the same way as these migrant men. Migrant families will be able to reapply. After 30 days, they'll be able to reapply for a different shelter. So all these men that you see around here. You don't need that are soon to be let out on the streets in New York City and homeless. And what they said, one man said, why did Joe Biden let us come in? Why did Joe Biden let us come in if he's not going to allow us to work? Are soon to be let out on the streets in New York City and homeless. And what they said, one man said, why did Joe Biden let us come in? Why did Joe Biden let us come in if he's not going to allow us to work? Someone said that to me today. Because these men are not allowed to work, they don't have work permits, and they're basically just stuck hanging out here all day long. So y'all see Mayor Eric Adams of New York talking about we only go house them. Our Fox 5's Linda Schmidt joins us live from Park Slope and Linda. Has been charged with the murder of a 19 year old woman. Police say she was stabbed to death outside a bodega in Brooklyn when she refused to give him his number. Right, Fox 5's Linda Schmidt joins us live from Park Slope. And Linda, you're hearing the suspect actually turn himself in. Yeah, he absolutely did that today. He showed up here at the 7A precinct, he turned himself in, and he had his lawyer with him at the time. Now, the 19-year-old victim and her twin sister, they were together last Sunday, and that is when she was stabbed to death. And police say the reason he did it is because she rejected him. If you know All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, <clears throat> honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. Look, it's been a plethora, a plethora. <laughs> I know that's a big word. You know, a video's coming out about this, uh, you know, so-called this knockout game happening yet again. All right. Trend, uh, trending. Knockout game, all kinds of different things. Mil military age men coming in. Now, there was, you know, several videos that I got. Uh, matter of fact, that I mainly got from one brother. The brother's, uh, the brother, uh, Arrows of Indignation. Indignation, you know, Salakia, you know, messed the name up. 
Okay, anyway, yeah, I mean, I got those videos from him, but look, this is getting deadly serious out here, and you eaves that are what at ease, as the scripture said. Let's go ahead and grab that first. Y'all are that at ease, man. It's going to be trouble for you. It's going to be trouble for you. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. That's right. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. It's right here. Okay, let's go ahead and read that first. That's what we'll do. And I'm, you know, I don't plan on making this too long. Here we go. Yep, yeah. Isaiah 32 and verse 9. Pay attention to this because we, we're telling you this out of love. Straight up. We're telling you this out of love. Now, we understand that... Uh, you know, a whole lot of Eve, especially the so-called so-called black woman, all right, is prideful, man, super prideful, all right, and they're not gonna and not gonna listen, not wanting to listen, thinking that they, uh, their houses shall continue forever and the vintage is not gonna fail, but it's going to, it's going to. Let's read this. Verse Isaiah thirty-two, verse nine. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. What is his voice? Again, back to the basics. What is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? What is his voice? The prophets, the men. The scripture said the, the tabernacle, his tabernacle is his men, you know, of his pasture are what are men. And that's that. Don't get offended about it. This is the order. And this is and if you hate that, then you hate Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You cannot get offended at his word. And if you do, hey, that's uh that's to your detriment. OK, and that's the truth There's an order going on and it's always been an order. It's always been set up like that. And nature itself is coming back to what it was supposed to be in the first place. Let's read this one more time and then we'll dig a little bit deeper into that. Isaiah 32, verse nine. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Now, verse 10, many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. 911 is a joke in your town. Get up, uh, get, get, get down. Let's go here. Okay? Matter of fact, I had you know I had that pulled up. Now let's get to the knockout game first. Okay? Now it's again, it's been a plethora of videos coming out and showing you that, you know, before it was men, let's let's go. See that, look, this was yeah, this was uh, August 27th, 2022, right here, right? We'll go there. Okay. Not the knockout game, which is, I mean, you know, like a wild bulls in the net, just walking around, just, you know, knocking out random people, man. And that, uh, that's crazy. It, it's evil and disrespectful and all kinds of, you know, wrong. But it is what it is. You know, sedition among men and all kinds of things. Are, how, don't I want to see your ugly ass mouth? Salakia. That's nasty. I don't see up in your mouth. That's gross. This place is disgusting. See, look, right here. See? And when you see things like this, see headlines, Diddy, ex girlfriend, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Right? They, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Something else is happening. All right? They put this all up in your face. The city girl rapper, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's what they do. All right, let's go back. So, lucky. Uh, see, New York Post. Damn. In New York, he got knocked out. Whatever. People are getting knocked out. You see this right here? All right, see, first it was men. So let's go down. Now it seems to be what? All women. It's trending on what? All women. And they talk about, I'm I, I'm on social media and this and that, blah, 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 only fans. Right? You, you got a false sense. You, you really have a false sense of security. All right? Because, uh, like she said, all these military-age men, and I skipped a, you know the video a little bit. She said, all these military age men coming in with no P-U-S-S-Y. All right. And you you, you got to understand men, are, you know, men are, are uh, <laughs> like Mike Tyson say, men are ferocious, ferocious. Right. And th these men are ferocious, man. They're coming in there. No wives, no girlfriends, no attachments. What do you think they're going to do? All right. And she even that even that Eve, man, she's really Salakia. She's really prime example of what's getting ready to happen to her. Because she, you can tell she's proud, loud, all right? She's got that uh, Babylonian spirit about her. She may even be a damn uh, carpet muncher, if you know what I mean, if you you know, if you know can receive that. So the knockout game is coming back, and it's back in a big way again. A bunch, there's a bunch of women. I got, I got, you just got knocked up out, you know, trying to, you know, think about, wait a minute, what just happened? 
What just happened? See, in that day, it ain't, it ain't going to be just, I got bear mace. And, you know, it ain't going to be, it ain't going to be this, this or that. That's why the scripture said the woman is the weaker vessel, the weaker vessel. What are you going to do? There's nothing you can, you can't overpower that, man. You can't overpower that, man. You have to have a hedge of protection, man. So let's go up here and we'll start the video here. The lesson here, Salakia. All right. See that? I will, the stars of heaven, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Uh, let's start right there. Isaiah 13 and verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord Yahweh cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Do you hear that? The sinners thereof out of it. Out of it. That's why seven women are going to come. You know, and a lot of them are going to get straight up rejected, man. They're going to get rejected. Okay, you, just like uh, in, in the world, hell, you know, uh, the women, you know, they got their choice and they do this and they do that. Man, it's, it's a lot of things that you eaves do that you don't understand is to your detriment because you are what? At ease, as the scripture said right there in Isaiah 30, uh, 32nd chapter. You are at ease, but the, you got to put your mindset into the righteous things into Yahweh Bachim Yahweh Shai, return and repent before it's too late. OK, this this is a uh, this epistle is to give you warning, really straight up. OK, for the stars of heaven and the constellation, you hear that rain in the background, you hear that rain. It's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, y'all. All right. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth and the moon shall be shall not cause her light to shine as an eclipse coming up. Uh, uh, there's a, a nuclear missiles coming up out of their gauze. Terrors are with them. All right. But before all that happens, before the moment in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, when you hear that voice saying, come up here and hide yourselves for a little while, it's going to be what? Sedition among men. It, 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 scripture said men shall be afraid, let alone the women. You know, they are ready to get getting chased, getting followed back home in their apartments or whatever. They getting chased uh, down the street, you know. As a story, it was it uh, was it. I think it was the Elder Hawad. I, I believe it was. You know, Salaki. If I'm wrong, you know, it was one of the brothers had brought up where is this uh, this woman had noticed that guy, a dude was following her. Man, okay, he was following her, and, and, and you know, she decided to dip off into a building, and, and he, uh, she noticed he came in the same building. So what she was no, it was brother uh, Bakiara Moff. Yeah. Yep, that's right. That's what I was uh, watching yesterday. Yep, yeah, that, was, that was an excellent lesson, by the way. Uh, subscribe and be edified. Bakayar Amoth. It, it, it was an excellent epistle. Okay, matter of fact, he inspired me to do this one. But she had which dipped off into a building, and uh, the only thing she figured she could use was what? Subtility. <laughs> so, you know, she dipped off, and then she finally went into another room, and she noticed that the guy was like, damn, uh, you know, I lost her. So he left. That she, she can use that. She can also use what? I, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's the truth. Uh, that, that it was that there was a TV show where the, where the you know where the uh, a woman was like it was, it was zombies following the people, and they was getting ready to get got. And the only thing that they had to barter with was what was the woman's body. Man, she she basically said, like, "I'll blow your rod if you just let me get in the car." You know, my wife remembers that. I'm sure she does. You know, because we watched that show. Uh, they went off anyway. Uh, let's let's keep reading. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're gonna have to use your body. You're gonna have to use everything that you can to try to get away from these damn. Uh, I'm, I hate, I'm not gonna call them predators. Just you know, uh, ferocious. Th these men, <laughs> Salakia. I had to say it again. Ferocious. You know, he said. Also said, I eat your children. You know. Anyway, inside joke. Verse eleven. I will punish the world for their for their what evil. And the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. You see, the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And that other woman, I don't understand why she got that damn sh uh, salakia. She got that crap eating smile on her face all the time, like ain't nothing gonna happen to her. She giving everybody warning, but she's smiling real big, thinking she's gonna be fine. You bet, you, you got another thing coming. It's a rude awakening getting ready to happen. Ye proud. It's that pride, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahashai hates pride. The prideful, man. It, it, it many times, right after the word pride, what comes? Destruction, man. See that? And the scripture said that. Pride goes before destruction. It sure did. 
okay? And cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the hauntedness of the terrible. Verse 12, listen closely now. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. See that? He said, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. So you know what? You are not the prize. You've never been the prize. There's an order. And we, and we don't say this just to get on you. We, we, we're telling you this out of love. We want you to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know? And, uh, you know and, and listen and reverence what? Your man, your husband. That's what you need to do. To what? To get a hedge of protection, man. You know, we all know what the order is. It's an order. And I read this scripture right here quite often. I don't read it three, four days in a row, man. Luke 21 and verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear and looking for and, and looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You know, so so much more the powers of heaven. Men shall be afraid in their pains. What about you women? You, you, the scripture said tremble ye women that are at ease. You better hope you got a man a hedge of protection. You better hope so. And, 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 uh, and, and with that, a man of the Lord. You, get, you better hope. Okay? Micah 7 and verse 10. Famous scripture. Keep A. Uh, BTTB. Back to the basics. All right? To any new listeners or whatever, it is what it is. Micah 7 and verse 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it. See, you're going to see it then. Then you're going to see it and you're going to say, oh, crap. I, I can do bad all by myself. Well, <laughs> Uh, uh, bingo, right? I can do bad off. I don't. I don't need a man. Men ain't shit. You look like your daddy. We've all, we've all heard stuff like that, and then get soft on the telephone or, 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 or at the damn bank teller office, or, or even at the checkout line at the grocery store when you see a damn uh, Edomite. See all that, all that pride and arrogance. See, see the hypergamy. Look that up. She, she's seeking uh, 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 power, okay? And right here on this side, y'all know damn well the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. Let me just say it like this. The Israelites have zero power. The scripture tell us in the, in the curses, there should be no might in thine hand. See that? Ain't gonna be with no prospering. We ain't gonna be uh, uh, building vineyards and them selling wine and stuff. No. We are here to what? Preach and teach so we can get the hell up out of here. And then the power comes. And then ye shall what? Have power. See? See? But she is my enemy. She, that's what she's going to see it. And shame shall cover. Shall what? Cover her. Which saith unto me, where is the Lord thy power? You, you, can, you can already hear it. Uh, finger in the air, head shaking back and forth. You know, where's the Lord thy power? You, you already hear it. Lord, you how would I power? My eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trotted down as a mire in the street. What's that mire? That mire is, is damn, is a pigsty. It's dirt, clay, mud. Okay? I forget what that song was. Uh, a boy named Sue. If any, <laughs> it's a lucky, man. It was a song by, it was a country star. You know, I remember that song from long ago. It, it, so, the song was called A Boy Named Stu and then uh, uh, Sue, right? A boy named Sue. Okay, and his dad had named him Sue all his life because he knew he wasn't gonna be around, and he knew he had to fight the whole time because everybody was gonna be making fun of him. And he knew his son could be fighting people. That's why he named him Sue. But anyway, in that song, he talked about ro rolling around at a damn bar in the in the mud and the blood and the beer, and that's what. <laughs> oh, call hello, you how about him, y'all? Shell, that's funny right there. If anybody hears this, if you if you know what song I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. But she's going to be trotted down as a mire in the streets, man. You know, and we don't want to see that. <clears throat> you know, hey, don't get us wrong. We don't want to see that. But these are prophecies. It's bound to happen. We're trying to give you warning so you won't have to be stomped down, uh, 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 you know, in, in, in the piss and the mud and the blood and the beer. Right. See that. So you ain't got to be uh, in all that. But, you know, a lot of you are not going to listen, man. A knockout game is back. Mike Tyson's knockout. See that? KO. All right. Isaiah 13, verse 9. I read that already. The Lord cometh cruel with fierce anger to lay 
the land desolate and shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, right? Yeah, I read that first. Okay. Here's something else that the Elder Hawad had brought up uh, about a week ago. Cops will not respond. See, all this, the, what did the scripture just say? The vintage shall fail, and you're not going to be able to throw them bows. You know, you ain't going to be able to throw them hands in, in, in that time. You, you're not going to be able to. Even that Eve, and she was proud, as, she was proud to, you know, she had that uh, masculine way about her, cussing like a damn, like Popeye the sailor man, okay? Cussing like Popeye, like a sailor man. You know, but even she sees, she's like, what in the world are you Babylonian? She said, American. But what in the world are you Babylonian women going to do when they decide that they want a piece of tail, man? You understand? See, it's in the scriptures. But hey, but uh, uh, camps like IUIC, what? They water it down. So you won't have, you don't need to worry about it. Yeah, you need to worry about that. You need to worry about that. You so do. Let's see here. American military news, right? Let's see, it's the A M N. Cops will not respond to theft, burglary, and other emergencies in major U.S. cities. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's a purge coming. Mm, you know, I can't do that it's a siren thing that they did in the purge, but it's coming. And the scriptures prophesied it before all this happened. See, how about him, y'all? Child is a master chess player. In response to the Pittsburgh Bureau Police, seriously. Understaffed, see that? And this is going on all across Babylon. And many brothers have brought this up. I'm one of Bob brought this up. Elder from South Carolina brought this up. Uh, 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 Apostle of Ramalam, I believe, brought this up. Okay? Many other brothers brought this up. Uh, uh, Elder Yashawamba. Okay? A lot of brothers brought this up, man. And anyway, police seriously understaffed forced the department recently to announce that police officers will no longer respond to certain calls labeled in progress emergencies. Hello. So all that calling uh, uh, on P calling on Pookie and Ray Ray because because he, he uh, got a little saucy or you got pissed off because he missed his child support. The vintage shall fail, Eve. You better return back to your how about Shimmy I was shy for it's too late. All right, or else you're going to get trotted down as a man in the street. We try to tell you. All right, such as harassment, theft, and burglary alarms. Ooh, ooh. Uh, 11, all right, <laughs> investigations, Pittsburgh Bureau of Police Chief Larry uh, uh, Scherito, or whatever the hell, uh, Scrit, Scritio, no, damn it, what does it say? Scrit, Scrit Ro Roteo, whatever the hell his name is, one of them names, all right, is hoping to reduce the department's call volume from roughly 200,000 calls a year, damn, to approximately 50,000 calls. That's a, that's a reduction of 75% uh, uh, of, uh, uh, right there. Do you see that? I believe the Elder Harad, he, uh, his, uh, the article he was reading was talking about, I said, a robot is going, uh, Robocop's going to answer, answer the phone. And he ain't going to say, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Nope, he ain't going to say that. He's going to say, what's your emergency? Wait, 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 wait. See that? Wait, 911 is a joke in your town. I'll get up, I'll get, get, get down. Look at it, look. Here, look here, here we go. 911 is a joke. You remember? Uh, uh, yeah, boy. And this is going to happen, man. You know, <laughs> Woo! sometimes you got to have fun with it. See, there's the lyrics to that song. Hit me. Some uh, Somebody call me an ambulance. See that? Hit me. This, uh, what, that, what, the knockout game. There is not a minute to spare. Don't worry. Ha ha. Very funny, mother. There is not a minute to spare. Don't worry. Going, going, gone. Like baseball. Back, 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 back. Gone. See? Your freedom, your hedge of protection. That's what I typed in. I won't make this too much longer. Hedge of protection. And we know the rock of our salvation is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? You know, I should have read the order. I, I might as well go ahead and get it. The order, what? The head of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is who? Yahweh. And the head of the woman is what? The man. And that's the way it's been set up. And it's going back to nature. You know, hey, when, uh, when when something lets go, when you let go of a property and it sits for 10, 20, and 30 years, guess what happens? Nature takes over. You see that? Nature takes over. Next thing you know, it's all decrepit and broken down and there's uh, limbs and trees and growing out of the gutters. Uh, 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 moss on the roof. 
The windows have been broken. There's deer and animals and little rabbits laying eggs. Laying eggs. Listen at me. <laughs> Chickens laying eggs and all kinds of different. The rabbits don't lay eggs, y'all. All right? This, this, this ain't no damn Easter. Oh, that's another thing that gets me. Ugh. Anyway, Job 1 and verse 10. Rabbits don't lay eggs, you big dummy. I'm talking to myself. All right. Have you not put a hedge around him in his house? Did you hear that? And all that he has. This is on in the ESV right here. On every side, you have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. Woo. Let's go to Psalms 91 and verse one. Let's read that. We'll just read a couple of these. I just put up hedge of protection. I just wanted to see what popped up. This is beautiful. <clears throat> Please excuse me. I got a little bit of cold right now. All right. Who, what he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. Where is the shelter of the Most High? Where's that at? That's in your mind. That's in the Bible. It's in the scriptures. The comforter, the comforting of the scriptures, the Rakak Wadash, all right, of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my power in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. And who's that? That's Esau Edom. And he got a trap for you. OK, he's got a trap for you. And from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pin it said pinions, his, with his wings. And under, uh, and, ooh, and under his wings, you will find refuge. The fatherless is a shed and not a shield. And, the fatherless is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the, you will not fear the terror of the, of the night Salakia, nor the arrow that flieth by day. Woo! That's a power. That's powerful right there. I don't go to it. So like, I don't know why I won't let me go to it. It's tripping. What's up? Oh, so like you for that. Anyway, it's a storm coming. There is a storm coming. I got just a couple more and I'll close out. All right. You hear that rain? You see, you hear that thunder? Lightning and the thunder. The thunder. See? <laughs> Salaki, I'm on one today, man. I am on one today. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Woo, let's go. Isaiah 4 and verse 1. All these prophecies are popping off the pages. See that? It's, they, it's, it's, going, it's going down. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Isaiah 4 and verse 1. And in that day, what? And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Woo! See that? Let us be called. Why? Because it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be sedition among men again. It, it, the, the knockout game. Except for when you come to, or maybe not. Except for when you come to, it might be a, 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 a Jake. It might be a, a Hamite. It might be a Moabite or any damn body on top of you, man. We, we, we're warning you. You see that? That's why you need a hedge of protection. That's why the scripture said, in that day, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Precious, my precious. You see in that movie, my precious, right? <laughs> I, I told you, I'm on one today, man. I, hey, man, I'm just, I'm happy that you how about Shimmy Asha woke me up this morning. I'm happy about that. I am. I'm happy about that. Uh, uh, the, the water to you, how about Shimmy Asha. Proverbs. 31 verse 19, she layeth her hands on the spindles. This is what she should be doing right now. All right. Rather than only, rather than only fans, uh, a word about uh, that Chanel uh, 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 bag. You know what I'm saying? Or, or uh, how big her booty needs to be right now getting a BBL. Or how much money her, uh, her, her uh, baby's, baby's daddy's is getting ready to give her at the end of the month. She, see? Uh-huh. Word, just a word about, I got to get my hair and my nails done. Child, y'all already know. You know, you look just like your daddy. Y'all done hear Y'all done heard that, man. <laughs> she should be what putting her hand to the spindle, man. Right? To take care of what her household. You know, uh, his household, shall I say. She left her hands to the spindle and her hands to hold this, uh, this staff. See, uh... Let's see. Let's see if I'm gonna go down. She stretches it out her hand to the poor. She 
She reacheth forth for her hands to, to the needy. Right. Uh, that's a good thing. She is not afraid of the snow for her house. Yeah, let's read this. For her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She maketh herself coverings. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, has, anybody, has anybody been outside in the last uh, 10 years? Have you seen any woman that's got coverings on? Oh, my, my. Everywhere you go is booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere all the time. It's, it's all up. I like big, mm, mm, see, all over the place, man. That's all you see is, is uh, 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 T and A. All right. Put those two together and figure out what it is. It's all over the place. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's absolutely. Ain't nobody supposed to be seeing that, man. But your husband, you know, that's supposed to be reserved for bed, uh, 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 for, uh, for night night, man. OK, she is. She is not afraid of the snow. I read that. Verse 22, she maketh herself coverings of tapestry and her clothing is silk and purple. That's beautiful. That, that uh, represents royalty, that purple does. Verse 23, her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth amongst the elders of the land. Verse 24, she maketh fine what? It's like my timer's going off. Okay. She maketh fine linen and selleth it. What and what and selleth it? Delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Oh man, that's you see this this right here is what you should be doing. This is good. You know, I'm, I, don't, I don't need no nigga. I don't need no man. I do bad all by myself. You you already know what it is. Heads swiveling back and forth. You know what it is. You can see it in your mind. She looketh well to her ways. What? Oh, um. Well, yeah. Verse twenty six. Salakia. She opened her mouth with wisdom. But hey, what does uh, Job 39 verse 17 say? He did not give her no knowledge and wisdom. This is a virtuous woman, I believe. She opened her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to her ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. You see that? Eateth not the bread of idleness. Yeah, that's, that reminds me. You know, I'm in a I'm in the construction business, if you will, amongst other things. And a lot of times when you when you're doing remodels or whatever, that's that's why they have they got a, a woman's bathroom and a man's bathroom. I know it's, it's that's some higher end Edomite stuff. That's what they do. OK, they have two separate bathrooms. OK, and in the woman's bathroom, what are you in the man's bathroom? Let's just say this in, in the man's bathroom, in the man's closet. What do you see? Uh, you know, is she a toilet, a shower? It may be a tub, but usually it's just a shower and a sink, and that's all. All right? But in the woman's bathroom, oh, my goodness. You uh, you see all kinds of tapestries. You got a jacuzzi tub, a shower, a bidet, a toilet, a, 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 a damn, and then you got this big-ass vanity that's like six foot long, and it's got 100,000 watts of uh, uh, LED lights above it so she can see you do her, her damn makeup, man. And that's the end. You know I'm not lying. Okay? That's the difference between, and we simple, we simple, man. We, all I need to do is, you know, is get my teeth brushed and wash my behind, man. Okay? And get, you know, get cleaned up, and I'm all right. But she being that, a woman being that, in that vanity, and it's got gold around it, you know, the, the tapestries, and the seats all cushy, and big ass pillows everywhere. All right? Uh, uh, flowers and shit. <laughs> uh, uh, glitter. <laughs> uh, Salakia, I'm on one today But see, at the Vintage Shell fell, man you, you, Have you ever seen that movie, The Road? Shit Hey, here's a That dude's wife, she couldn't handle it, man She off her own self, man And and they have food to eat My goodness Shoo. Verse 28 Her children arise up and call her blessed Her husband also And he prays of her Wow Many daughters have done virtuously, <clears throat> but thou, uh, uh, ex excellence, excellent them all, ex excel, excellest them all. So lucky, I got that right. All right. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. Woo, did you hear that? But a woman that feareth the Lord, Yahweh, she shall be praised. Wow, that's beautiful. Give her to give her of the fruit of her hands. And let her own works praise her in the gates. That's beautiful. So, hey, hey, that's that. The knockout game's back. Everything's back. 
the people are back. The prophets are back. The, uh, the, uh, the ninjas are back. And the evilness is back. All right? And it's all happening right in front of your eyes. Repent before it's too late. Eve and, and you Jakes out there. Repent, repent, repent. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. That's the truth. That's what's up. 100%. And you can't, you can't uh, you misconstrue that neither. 100%. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Quam Yasharala and Wa a Bible Ball. Boom. Shalom.